What's up, guys? This is Kefis. I think that what's really cool about, you know, the subscription and everything, and Blizzard is, you know, I'm surprised that the subscription still exists. I actually thought it would be going away, and it's still here, uh, which I don't mind because again, I buy it through Wow Wow Gold. <laughs> but even if I didn't, I'd still pay the 15 a month for it. It's I still play it a lot. So, but what's cool is, I mean, if you whether you, you know, I don't know if you're a big fan of, if you're going to get into the classic or not. Um, what's cool about the subscription though is that you. Um, you're going to get more value out of it when Classic comes out because you don't have to pay extra for Classic. So if you're like me and you're going to play retail and you're also going to play Classic, then your $15 a month just became a lot more valuable. You're getting a lot more bang for your buck uh, because you're basically getting two iterations of WoW for one for the price of one. So that's a good a good way to look at it, you know. And and I mean, you know, it's it's whatever. I mean, I've been playing this game for for you know 12 what 14 years now. I started playing in 2006, 13 years. Um, two, well, I'd been out for two years when I started playing it. So, um, you know, uh, I, I'm, I, it's whatever. Like, I, I've, they've, they've gotten enough of my money, in my opinion. <laughs> they've gotten plenty of my money. But, you know, I'm excited to, you know, to look at it that way and say, you know, now I've got two iterations of of WoW to uh, to work with, which I think is it's pretty cool. I'm really excited to see how this goes. You know, so I was, I mean, by the time this episode comes out, I mean, this is, <clears throat> this is, w Classic has probably been out now for a month, even though when, at, at the time of recording this, Classic has not been out yet for, it hasn't been out yet. It's about a week before Classic comes out. But I was in the, the test and I was in the beta a little bit and I didn't want to get, I, I'm always like this whenever I get into a beta. I don't want to play too much because I don't want to burn myself out. And take too much away from when I actually first started playing the game. But I did hop in. I created a couple characters. I also reserved my name in the name reservation. So Kefis will exist. I uh, got a couple servers picked out. So I'm going to be going with AIE and Convert the Raid and all the other communities. Uh, going to be hanging out with those guys. So yeah, check me out on those servers. I can't remember the names of them. I think I'm going to be on. I think my main server is going to be pa Pagel. Pagel, however you say it. Um, but anyway, so I was in, you know, I was in the beta, I was in the, in the, in the, in the test, and I made a character, I, I think I talked about this in another episode early on, but, um, I made a character, and I was, I was a dwarf paladin, and it was kind of cool because, like, you know, I was playing my paladin, I was, I, you know, I was sealing, using my seal, which seals, holy crap, I had forgotten that seals were a thing. Having to reseal, like, every 20 seconds was crazy. <laughs> but I didn't mind it too much. It's going to be interesting. Excuse me, hiccups. It's going to be interesting to see if I can even macro uh, classic because of the way the game's played. How many abilities there actually are. If if gnome sequencer can be used, it's going to make things a lot easier. So I'm hoping hoping that gnome sequencer gets put in. But anyway, I was playing. I was leveling up. It took me forever in comparison to get to level two. I was like, holy crap, this is crazy. And I was fighting one mob at a time. It, mobs were not going down. Mobs at level one were not going down as fast as I am killing mobs here right now. These I will kill these two kobolds faster than I will kill one mob at level one in classic, and that's not a joke. Um, maybe about the same time for both of them. But anyway, you know, I didn't mind it. I mean, I was like, wow, the, crazy. And I was watching my weapon skill go up, so the higher my weapon skill would become, the, the more damage I would do. And so, like, I didn't have heirlooms or anything like that, and, you know mobs were taking so long I was looking at every piece of equipment that I would loot from every single enemy that I would kill and, I, and, and early on I don't know if it does this throughout but early on it was giving me a bunch of gray weapons so I'm like sweet I'm getting weapons that I can use and, and I was getting improved weapons I was getting improved gear um, you know mail and plate or not plate yet but I was getting mail and leather gear you know I'm like oh this is an improvement over what I have and so I, I'm equipping everything I can find and you know doing quests to get other equipment that was better and it, that's that was I'm doing this at level two level one and level two so so that's happening and then I get to level two and I'm like sweet you know now I can uh, now I can get uh, you know, I can go to. I, I'm getting a. a, a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I get a quest where I need to go speak to my trainer. So I'm a paladin, so I go into Anvilmar, and there's my trainer, turn in the quest, and he's got spells for me to learn. So I, I learn. I forget what spell it was. I think it was like Devotion Aura. So I'm like, sweet. 
I'll take less damage now. That's cool. That's helpful. Um, it's not a damage ability, but I'm, it's helping me. It's, it's, it's like I'm taking less damage, which is going to be really useful. So I'm even more, even less squishy now. Of course, I'm a paladin, so I'm not very squishy to begin with. Um, and now I'm going to take even less damage. And then I'm like, oh, sweet. At level four... Oh, and I forgot to mention this. I, I couldn't buy the spell right away because I needed a silver. So I had to go out and kill a bunch of things, try to sell everything that I could kill, and uh, or everything that I would loot, and try to get a silver so I could get that spell. And I noticed, whoa, at level 4, when I come back, I'll have another spell. So at level 4, I need to come back to the trainer and get Judgment. And that's actually a damaging spell. That's crazy. So then I get to level 4, I, I, have, enough, I have enough silver, I go buy Judgment, and I'm like, whoa. Sweet. At level 6, I need 3 silver because I can buy 3 more spells. And, it, I'm, and one of them is going to buff me and I'm going to get Blessing of blessing of Might or whatever. That's crazy. You know, so I'm, it, this is all happening within the first, like, 3 or 4 levels in, in, in leveling. And, and I haven't even gotten into talents, unlocked m mounts yet. Like, there's so much to the game. And, and, and when you play, like, look at me here. This is fine. I mean, this is, you know, I, I don't mind this necessarily, but in comparison, I'm look at, I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing right now. I'm killing things without even thinking. About, I'm not even engaged, and that's not because I, I'm I don't like the game. It's not because I'm just you know whatever. It's I don't have to be engaged. I, I'm getting spells passively, like I, I I'm not even thinking about when I earn my next ability because I'm it doesn't matter. Every new ability that I gain, I'm mowing down enemies anyways. Like, I'm mowing these guys down without even thinking about it. Um, in, in Classic, it's not the case. I'm constantly looking for what new abilities I can get. And, 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 and speeding up my, my speeding things up because, you know, it's slower. And, and as I level up, it's going to get harder and I'm going to have to think about not dying. <laughs> Being careful not to pull too many enemies because enemies are going to get a lot more aggressive the further we go. You know... Well, I guess I have all the boxes. I could have just left. I'm not even... Jeesh. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's that's an example right there of when people say... When people don't understand why people want to play Classic. Oh, it's going to be slower. Oh, it's so tedious. Oh, it's so this and that. It's like, yeah, but it's engaging. In my opinion, objectively speaking, Classic will be a better game experience. It's my opinion. And it's because just with, I mean, you can you can take the first hour of leveling up a character in both and compare them. And, and at the end of the day, it, it all boils down to what you prefer. There are going to be things about classic that I do not like. Uh, that I pref there are certain things that I prefer in retail. I will I will admit this. I will miss transmog. I will miss the new character models. You know, I will miss the mount panel. Those, those kinds of things I will miss. Those kinds of streamlines I think are good. They help they help the clunkiness. But the gameplay, the actual game itself, the engagement with leveling, with unlocking skills, improving your ranks, having to earn gold for things that you need in the game. You know, leveling being a challenge, not just a mindless thing that you do. Because people got sick of playing the game a long time ago, and they want to get through it as fast as possible so they don't have to play the game as much. That's really what it boils down to. Um, it, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to quit after a week. I guarantee you that. I will keep playing it because I'm I'm already excited. And, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge. I didn't have a problem with it when it was live. I'm one of those people that when they made changes, I quickly realized that I didn't like a lot of the changes that were being made. I'm one of those people. I didn't like them at first and then later on, you know, hate them. Um, I, I miss a lot of the, I miss a lot of things. I miss weapon skills. I miss um, having all these different aspects. I miss having to take care of my pet. The fact that my pet is here and I don't even think about him bothers me. It does. Um, not having to go to town to do certain things. It, it, yeah. Certain aspects are better. I think questing is a little bit better because it's more, it's more, um, you know, it helps kind of guide you along. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It tells a better story. Um, you know, but at the same time, yeah, I'm not as engaged. I'm not as engaged overall. 
And I, I think that, you know, I, I think that when you play both, it's like some people like arcade mode. That's fine. Some people prefer this this way. Um, it's not black and white. I was listening to uh, I was listening to the instance, and then Scott was talking about. They were talking about it, um, and he was saying like, you know, I keep going back and forth. I'm excited. Ooh, another rare. Look at all the rares. I'm killing rares like crazy. You know, he, Scott Johnson was saying like, you know, I'm excited for classic, but I'm all I keep going back and forth because I think like, oh god, but then I gotta do a two minutes to get in the mythic mythic. Uh, or Molten Core. Good lord, that's going to suck. Oh god, you know, certain aspects are going to really suck. But man, it also sounds kind of fun. I can see where people, he's, you know, they're starting to come around. A lot of people are, who have been in the beta are coming around to the realization that people have been right about a lot of this. People people are starting to notice. It, it's the, the cracks in retail are starting to show. But because people have gotten into Classic and they're seeing what people are talking about. That it's not just nostalgia. It is nostalgia, a lot of it. But it's not just nostalgia. There are things about Classic that were way better. There just were. But it doesn't mean that everything about Classic is better. It doesn't mean that everything about Classic... Or, you know, that, that there weren't things about Classic that needed to be improved on. They did. And they were. But there were other changes that made the game worse, in my opinion. And that's where we are. That's what I think. I don't think it's a black and white issue, and I think that part of the problem these days is that, not to become an old man, we, we, we look at things as all or nothing, as black and white, we, we, we tribalize, we, we, we get to one side and we stick with it, and it's like, no, 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 there's, there's nuance, there's, there, there, there's nuance to looking at situations, as, yeah, yeah, this part of it, I can see that, I can see why people are willing to endure the clunkiness and endure certain aspects that are inconvenient and not streamlined because they want that old experience back because it's a different experience from the game that we have now and i think it will be an overall better experience it doesn't mean that i won't ever play retail again yeah i will i will always come back to check out new content for sure and see what they do but i think when people get into classic i think that there are going to be a lot more people then people realize who are going to say, wow, this is, <laughs> this is really good. Um, I didn't realize how much, you know, has been lost with this game. You know, I, there will be people that are going to hop in and that this just don't want to be inconvenienced. I don't have time for this. I have a wife and a kid and a life. Fine. That's great. You know, do, do what you want to do. Then that, that, you know, Find a better hobby would be my suggestion. Um, play retail, I guess, if if you wanna. There's, I don't know. It's weird. There's a lot of people that I don't get the I don't get the mentality of like, you know, it's a video game. I don't want to be inconvenienced. It's like that's what a video game kind of is. It's inconvenient to go through eight worlds in Mario. Um, you know, my wife my wife knits. Um, she likes to knit because we're old people and that's what we do. We stay home on Friday nights. I play video games and she knits. <laughs> but uh, imagine if she was like, I don't want to, I want to knit, but I don't want to knit. So I'm going to pay someone else to knit for me. Or I'm going to buy this machine that automatically knits. And it's like, but why, why, it's not really a hobby then. Why, why even bother? I mean, unless you just like knitted fabric, but in that case, you could just go buy knitted clothes. But if you actually like knitting, um, then you're going to want to knit, even though you could go buy clothes. It's kind of the same with video games. You don't have to play them, but if you like playing them, then it's it's fair to presume that you actually want to play. Um, and I guess you could say, well, I, I do, but I don't want to play as much. I don't want to grind. I don't want to do r repetitive stuff. It's like, man, I, I don't know. I mean, take a look at Overwatch. How do I get up here? Hey, so going back to Overwatch, you know, you think about like, you know, you can play a game in 20 minutes. You can. You can play a game in 20 minutes and you're done. But if you want to get good at Overwatch, you will probably have to spend about as much time playing that game as you spend playing WoW to level up a character. You probably will. Because you, you it, to get good, you have to practice. You have to play. You have to learn. You have to grow as a player. You have to get better. If you're satisfied with just doing a couple quick matches every night and then you're done, then whatever. That's fine. Good for you. But 
you know, if that's your mentality towards Overwatch, then why why can't your mentality towards WoW be I'm satisfied logging in, playing for a couple hours, and maybe getting a level or half a level every night? Why does it have to be sped up? Because you're always going to be behind. Because no matter how much they speed things up, there are still going to be people that have more time to play than you, and the faster the game gets, the faster everybody's going to get through it. And so people who have more time are still going to get better than you, and you're still going to have to catch up. So what's the point then in speeding everything up to the point where it's no longer interesting, it's no longer relevant, it's no longer um, engaging, because they they thought that the best thing to do was to cater to you, who demanded that you didn't have to play as much. And yeah, and I think that that's the numbers speak for themselves, the, the uh, relevance for WoW speaks for itself, and I think that's where we are. So anyway, I, I, I don't know. I, I think that I think that classic is going to be good. Um I am you know, when I got into the beta the second time, when I got into the, the testing, I mean the, the stress test and I played for the weekend, I I tried not to play too much. I was definitely interested before, but now I'm pining for the release. I'm like a kid waiting for Christmas to get here. And I I can't remember the I mean, Zelda, Breath of the Wild was a game that I did that. It's reinforced to me how much I really do love World of Warcraft. When I when I, I wanted to do a, a top ten games list again, and I'm going to give WoW better treatment this time than I did last time because I've come to the realization that when it comes to WoW, it is by far one of my favorite games of all time. And you know nothing gets me excited as 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 in in terms of a game uh, like World of Warcraft does. You know, so so I'm definitely going to look into it. Um, look into classic and see and see what it has to offer. And I and I'm 99% sure that I'm going to be happy with what I see and I'm going to get hooked on it. And I'll probably have to take a break from Overwatch because I'll be playing classic so much. <laughs> but at the same time, hey, when I want to take a break from leveling my character, I <laughs> I can always go back to and, and play Overwatch. So I'm really looking forward to that. And we got level 50. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it. Let me know by clicking that like button, and feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.